Well, here we go. Let's do this one in red. Here we have a slope because that coefficient of x is 1. And this is already in slope-intercept form. So 1 over 1 with the y-intercept at 0, 4. So let's see if I can do this one right. 0, 4 is this point. And then we just have these points along the way. All right, and this one is a solid line. So let's use our test point 0, 0. Test 0, 0. And so then we have 0 is greater than or equal to 0 plus 4. And 0 is greater than or equal to 4. That is false. Oh, there we go. False. So we got to shade the other side of that line. Now some people will just kind of put in little marks like that so they know it's that side and wait to fully shade in the rest, all right? And that's fine too. Let's try that out. Now this other equation is just y, well the equation would be y equals negative 3. And y is negative 3 right here and all throughout on this line, which also should be dashed. And we can test the point again, 0, 0. So we're going to test 0, 0, which means I can only replace the y. And 0 is greater than negative 3. That's true. So I would need a shade above on this line. So once again, if we just do little marks like this, it may help us to see where the two intersect. And that would look something like this. So I've seen stuff like this on test two, and that looks really good. <laughs>